seems like there's more emphasis on fun than there is on the academics. If they walked into a public school, they would be pretty far behind and have a lot of work to do to catch up. When they get home, Carrie gives 10-year-old Riley a writing assignment. All right, you write a paragraph about those two pets you have. Okay, you want to read what you have? My pets are Beast and Cholo. They're cats. So whenever your mom teaches your writing, what does she do? Well, I don't really get into it, so she doesn't either. So you just don't like to do it, so you just don't do it? Mm-hmm. OK. Riley is writing at a mid first grade level. And he is 10 years old, so he would basically be in fourth grade. There's no excuse for that. At the Joneses, Heather and the girls have been so busy, they've gone almost the entire week without seeing Mark, who's been waiting for the chance to confront Krista about plans she's made for a homecoming dance that went awry. Limo deal from homecoming. What did I talk to you about? I don't know. I said it wouldn't work. That, that makes no sense at all. Are you going to listen? Or are you just going to keep talking? You have no idea. I have no idea what? I'm constantly going, and I have no time, and I have this stupid limo thing doing that. I did everything I possibly could to get organized. And sometime whenever you're not an emotional wreck, then I guess we'll have a conversation. I don't think Mark really understands the pressure the girls are under. I think Mark does need a reality check. At the Martinsons, Carrie confronts Lee over their homeschooling techniques. I'm really, really concerned about what kind of education at all the kids are getting. Most high school graduates, a ton of them are, yeah, can't even pass you know the exit exam. We're not talking about all these other people. We're talking about your kids. Yes, and my Do kids are what? doing fine. Your They're well-adjusted kids. kids. Do not have a good education. This is going to make me cry, but you have a 10-year-old child. He's basically illiterate. He's not illiterate. He reads he well. He can read, but he cannot write. There are some kids who can write complete sentences but they don't understand a lot of more important things. Your views are handicapping your children, and it, well, worries, it worries all... me. You come talk to me when my child is a doctor and your child is trying to figure out if they can hold a job. You want to tell me in 10 years whose kids are going to be better off? Yep. Talk it's to ridiculous. me again in 10 years. He can't see the big picture. If you don't want them in the public schools, then figure out how to homeschool them well. My biggest concern is if I have a child grows up has no passion. Because I went through public school, just a lot of the professor's attitudes really bugged me. Everything when you're studying literature was always, they seem to have a perverted bend on, on it. Everything seemed to be perverted for them. Next, the rules change as the wives take control. Mark, it's time for you to sit 